What do you think of Goodman versus Amana furnaces? Amana may make great flatware, but they fail at more complicated things like appliances. I wouldn't think a furnace was that complicated. Amana's dishwashers leak and have trouble washing dishes, though it is not as bad as Fagger's dishwashers just spraying water onto the floor. Their fridges leak and freeze. Fridges should freeze. The drain in the freezer does not drain right, so melt from the defroster freezes until it builds up and melts and flows onto your floor. So they do not make good cold appliances. How would you rate their furnaces? Their furnaces get almost as many good reviews as bad reviews. But stay away from their heat pumps, because those get two or three bad reviews for every positive one. I want a dedicated furnace, not a heat pump. Amana's furnaces regularly see the control boards, motors, heat exchangers and even the condensation pumps break down. And customer service is slow to get replacement parts out. I think everything breaks down after a few years. These failures are often in the first year or two after installation, when the warranty should still be in effect. That would leave me cold. Especially when it takes a week or two for Amana's contractors to get major matters fixed. How good is Goodman? It is not. It is not what? Goodman is not any good. I'd almost say get an Amana furnace over a Goodman. You said they regularly break down and have costly repairs. So does Goodman, but their service is even worse. And their warranty is so limited it might as well be non-existent. How would you rate Amana's warranty? For parts, it is pretty good, though not as good as trains. It does not cover labor, even under warranty. But you are still implying it is better than Goodman. Goodman's furnaces are likely to need to be serviced before your first annual service visit. Get something else, almost anything else.